Okay, here we are in Baldur's Gate. We can see the FPS up top there. Uh, I put everything on low, but then I turned the texture up to medium. Let's see where we're at here. Should be fine. Yeah, it's not really that much of an issue for an indoor area like this. You may get some drop downs here and there, but that's just kind of Baldur's Gate. Should be still fine indoors, yeah. So. Indoor areas, I mean, ultra quality FSR, you're going to be good to go, basically. Well, this is the native resolution of the screen, 2560 by 1600. And we will go with uh, more FSR, obviously. So we'll go up to performance now. Let's see how it performs here. Yeah, so 1600p. Oops. Yeah, like, I mean, it's totally fine. Here we are in the city at that 1600p with performance FSR. This will be a bit demanding, obviously. Baldur's Gate's pretty brutal. Um, surprising it's actually doing this well. Uh, 30 FPS is... 30 FPS is not horrible in here. You probably want to turn up the FSR a little bit here. Um, so we're at performance FSR on medium low. That's very demanding area, so let's try ultra-performance. We're at a higher resolution here, so we can get away with more FSR. The higher the resolution, the more FSR you can get away with. So, yeah, looks pretty good. So if you really want to play on native resolution and you have a 1600p screen or a 1440p screen or whatever, uh, in the city, you're going to want to throw on some performance FSR. This is pretty good, though, all things considered. And we'll just see what we get here, kind of as a baseline. This will be pretty demanding, but... Oh, okay. Well, 1440p medium with performance FSR is actually playable. It's going to be like console level, but 30 FPS. This is The Witcher 3 Enhanced, so... Yeah, it's just performing well. It's just the raw power. It's going to get you about 30. The lows are good. 23 for 1% lows, 16 for 0.1% lows. So again, if you have a 1600p screen, you could play like this, I guess. So we're going to go just check this FSR here. So we're at 45 with ultra performance FSR. You can see that there. Okay. And that's looking pretty good. Again, this is not the highest end Intel Arc iGPU. This is the lowest, 125H. And look at that. So 1440p low uh, performance XESS and you're good to go. 30 FPS, great lows and rock solid. I mean, you're not going to get 60 FPS, but again, this is a 125H budget offering of the core. Yeah, so balanced XESS on 1080p on low. And now, you know, the frames are way up now. You can see that there. Looks pretty good, all things considered. Um, you get a little bit of shimmer, but I mean, it's we're using a lot of XCSS now. So looking pretty good. Very, very playable. You could probably turn it down slightly, I guess, if you wanted. You could probably go with quality. Uh, right. And uh, yeah, it just looks a little cleaner as a result. And not a huge performance hit. XCSS is doing its job. And there you go. I mean, we don't need to do much more. Extremely playable. So quality FSR here. Yeah, there's your 30 FPS, really. At 1440p, too. You, in this game here, really, you don't need a lot of the settings turned up. You do kind of want textures turned up a bit. But you can see how good the game looks with everything else just on low, to be honest, so. And uh, that's a that's 30. That's very good. Let's increase it slightly. Yep, yeah, an extra few frames. You could do whichever you want. Capture card's kind of freaking out here a little bit, but that's fine. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Uh, let's go with the lower resolution. There you go, 1080p, ultra low mix. You could play with the settings as need be. 
And you can see here it's running just fine. A little of XAAA. You probably want to actually turn up the settings because it's running really well, actually. Yeah, we'll come back. Okay, here we are back with that setting there, that kind of high media mix there. And uh, other than the fact that my capture card's freaking out, it's uh, doing very well here. So 1440p medium. Might want to turn it down slightly here. There's different settings we can do in here, so let's just turn it down to just a touch. It's a little below 30, so we'll come in here and we'll go edit, and we'll go texture quality. We'll actually turn that up to high. Anti-aliasing, we'll turn down to low, and we'll turn some of these lighting things. Low and I guess high mix really here. Okay, let's see how that works there. Yeah, that gave us an extra few frames. It looks like the lows have come up, so we're going to be probably closer to 30 or so. Yeah, outdoor area now. Let's just see if we can maintain those frames. Looks like we can. Okay, let's try native 1080p now. Same settings. Yeah, the frame rate's gone up a ton here, obviously. So if you have a 1080p screen, um, you know, like a MSI claw, um, you're gonna be good with Intel Arc. This just, again, this just makes me want to grab the MSI claw because the MSI claw has the much more capable variant of these Intel Arc graphics. And I mean, we're getting this with 125H. This is really good, actually. So, 45 FPS, lows of 30 and 25 is very good. Um, so, we'll just go like that there. So, we'll start with 1440p at low, but we'll go with XESS performance. Again, we can get away with a lot of XESS here. Uh, because we're at a high resolution. Let's see what we can get here. This game is brutal to run on integrated graphics, so if we can even get 30, I'll be happy. Um, we probably won't, but you never know. Okay, well. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Not sure if it's just, like, I mean, part of it is this GPU is doing well. Um, and then on top of that, XCSS is obviously performing. So, just to prove how effective these are go watch someone play this game on the steam deck and watch it get obliterated and then go watch someone play this on the rog ally or the legion go and just just go watch it and come back um the rog ally doesn't come to this resolution but you can use the legion go and set it you know watch a video of it playing at 1600p on the legion go and just come back to this video after and uh yeah that's the six that's the 780m on the legion go at 1600p. Look at, this is very good performance. And I realized that Intel Arc just generally does well in Hogwarts Legacy. Intel Arc was outperforming Nvidia and AMD when this game came out and it looks like it's carried over. So it's gonna be a really good way to cap off this video here with uh, just watching how incredibly performant this is. This is the 125H. This is not like a high performing variant of the intel arc here so i mean we can probably turn this up here if anything let's turn it up to medium this is not something that i normally do on handhelds and uh, igpus because it's a terrifying thing to do in this game yeah look at that that's medium at 30 fps in hogsmeade so i may be rambling if you haven't played this game but if you have played this game you know what i'm talking about here this is really good all right, so let's jump down to some 1080p uh, just to see with that, because you may not have a 1600p or 1440p screen. Okay, so now we're back at low again, but we are on 1080p with just quality XCSS now. So the XCSS has been turned out quite a bit. And uh, yeah, you can see how good the performance is here. So all this does is just make me really want to test out the higher end Intel Arc iGPUs, because this is performing very well.
Look at this. This is 48 FPS, 50 FPS. And just quality. XCSS. We can turn it up, too. Yeah, let's go medium here. Because we're not really using much XCSS. Yeah, medium 1080p. Which is quality XCSS. Very good performance. Okay, so that's it. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish the video here um, with probably the best performing we're going to get, which is kind of fun. But, um, you know, I could throw on more XCSS. I could do all kinds of stuff here, but let's just leave it as it is right now and say that uh, basically, in summary, these 125H graphics performed vastly better than I thought they would. Um, if you look at the Intel, if you look at the AMD uh, 780M, and 680M, there's a pretty big gap between them. Uh, but the 680M still performs pretty well, I would say. Um, but I was really worried that this 125H just didn't perform well, because there's three tiers of these Intel Arc graphics. There's the 185, the 155, uh, and then the 135 is kind of in the same category, and then there's the 125H. Um, and uh, yeah, it looks like you, know, you could grab these 125H graphics, and it is a monumental, performance improvement over what Intel was doing with the XE graphics. Absolutely staggering improvement here to where we're getting basically in line with AMD. Like I'm not going to say it's better than AMD or lower until I get to that test, but it's in the same realm as AMD now. And this is coming from Intel XE graphics that were basically garbage. Let's be realistic, they were garbage. And they've been garbage for several years. Um, you really aren't playing games more modern than like 2015. 2016 at best and here we're playing 2022 2023 games and it's quite enjoyable so there you go that's the 125h uh, i'm playing this on the idea pad uh from lenovo uh so if you get yourself 125h core ultra graphics and you're like uh can i play games well yeah you can play the most demanding games that are out basically and uh you'll be fine and there you go